At the start of this level, GLaDOS has some stuff to fix, so let's do the only thing that we can do for now. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Big bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. That's a bit better. First of all, we need to find a way to the other side of the chamber, so... Let's do what we typically do. Make portals. We located the exit, however, it's not quite ready yet. So let's get to the main part of the chamber. We're going to need quite some force to actually get up on that platform with the arrow, so the jumping machine from the start comes into play again. Make a portal over here, and then do the jump that we did at the beginning. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing to get to the other side. Portal over here and jump at the start. It doesn't actually matter exactly where you put this thing down, so as long as it points at the white wall over there. Now again, the jump from the start, we're going back to the very first jump we performed. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. And now just redirect the laser into the little machine over here. Took me some attempts, you probably have better aim. Level complete. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. This one's a little tougher than the last one. First of all, there's a cube to the right of us, so we're gonna go get it. There is the cube. Now our first goal is to get rid of the little blue wall that you can see up ahead with a laser beam. So we're gonna have to jump up to it. Interrupting the laser beam with the cube will make the wall drop. So that's what we're doing. Now we're at the second wall, we're gonna have to take this one down as well. Button makes a cube drop behind us. Which I'm not seeing, so I'm probably gonna end again. Yep. There we 
here it is. Tiny problem, the laser isn't active yet. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo. Going to take the solid cube from uh, the lower level and replace it with this one. Now we're gonna need the solid cube at the top, so we're gonna take it there. Remember that portal that we shot at the laser beam? This is going to be the other end for it. Wall drops. And we're home free. Just have to do the jump one last time. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Now we get into the fun part, the light bridges. Now the goal is to hit the button on the other side over there. So we're gonna do that first. That will release cubes to drop it down in this little cylinder next to me. You'll see in a second. Now we have to go pick up the cube. To do that, we're going to go into the little hidden chamber behind the cube dispenser. It's hard to see, so I actually got stuck on that for a little bit. What's left? We still have to get the cube to the little switch over there that it's supposed to flip. So we need a suitable passage. That one's not gonna do, that one's not gonna do. But here is an idea. That one's not gonna get me to the other side. That one is. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. 
I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I... Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Another level where you're basically just using the light bridges to your advantage. All that's left here is creating two cross bridges. I'm a little slow doing this because it's my first playthrough, but you get the point. Do make sure you actually catch your cube as you make the bridge here. If it falls, you have to start all over. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. 